Good morning. It's another fantastic day at Disney World. We are headed into Animal Kingdom today. I'm going to put on my mask in just a minute as I'm approaching more people. But um, yeah, so we're going to try to hit Flight of Passage first thing in the morning here. And we are very excited about today. So getting a nice early start. Off we go. Right at Park Open in the queue, which of course we've come in as much as an hour ahead of time yeah. in, pa in the past. So the posted wait right now is 105 minutes for Flight of Passage. Obviously it's busier than it was last time we were here. We were able to come in later and not definitely not wait too long. But you know, we'll see, whatever. Okay, if it's open, I'm gonna go into Creature Comforts. Let's see. Looks like it's open. I'll try to get some food we can eat in line. Breakfast sandwich is acquired. That was actually really quick because they just opened. So that is not bad at all. I think we may do it this way in the future. Although you have to be close enough to opening so you can get the food. But still then the line's pretty long. So anyway, it worked out for us. Come over for that. We're inside. We're inside. That only took forever. No, I'm fine. I'm good now. I'm good. Yeah, we're now in air conditioning, so there's that. It's one of the coolest parts of the queue. Ferrofluid, that's what that is. Ferrofluid. It's a fluid that has metal in it, and then you use magnets to make it do that. I'm not as tall as Avatar. Or Navi. Elba taller. I can't quite even pick their noses. <laughs> no, not even close. Not even close. We are about to get it's only been wow. it's only been an hour and a half. Dad's speaking. Hi, mom. Dad is. <laughs> she said hi. <laughs> she said call her. Dad is speaking. Mom and dad. You'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sibak Hope rise to the challenge. We, I just finished Flight of Passage and oh my gosh, I don't know why, like the last year has just been like a really, really hard year and it really got to me. I was like <laughs> emotional, I was like tearing up because it's beautiful and it gives you like all this kind of elated oxytocin happy, yeah. happy things. Oh, it's raining. Great. Our oh, stroller. Put anything to our stroller. Yeah, we better get to our stroller. So anyway, it was great and we loved it. So still worth the wait. <laughs> Just got off of Kilimanjaro Safaris, and um, yeah, it was not too bad of a wait. We're heading over to Expedition Everest for a little while, and then um, we should be able to do that, and then head back over for our lunch reservation at Tusker House. So we're doing all right. It's still pretty hot, kind of a busy day, but you know, we're at Disney, so things are good.
My daughter just informed me I'm definitely not a kid because I don't like spinning rides anymore. This is true. Absolutely true. You could only go don't like spinning, spinning rides, rides anymore. Once. Yep. Pocahontas. It's Pocahontas. Wave at her. She's waving at you. You can't decide. What do you want to do? Everest? What is what do you want to do? Popcorn. He wants to do popcorn. Which we're having a really hard time finding popcorn refill stations, which is a staple for our little kid. So, I don't know. We're gonna, I guess you'll see in a minute which one we chose. Wait, hello! This is the queue for Expedition Everest. We have gone with Expedition Everest for our next ride, and maybe they're not lying. Maybe it really is only a 35 minute wait. It looks like a long line. We are moving, so here we go. Well, who knew? Here we are. Go Tex! We made it. That was actually like maybe 22, 23 minutes. Really, really impressed. All right, off to see the Yeti. All right, so we are at Tusker House. It's really loud and bustling in here. So this is the bread. They kind of look like regular, are the biscuits kind of normal? Yeah. Normal biscuits, and then you've got chips with it. And then we've got uh, mango, salsa, is this hummus maybe? Mostly just mango. And then something on the other side. And we don't know what it is. We've also got a salad. And I will have to post that <laughs> Randall's throwing the salad around now. Don't make so, me throw it at you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Color. It's very nice color on you. You know you look good. It's okay. Dessert. Looks like a brownie. Okay, and the little hand's gonna steal that cupcake. Okay, update. We are back from Animal Kingdom. We are back at the boardwalk. We took a little nap. We got cleaned up. We try to take a nap when you have kids. It doesn't always work out. Anyway, we are feeling refreshed and good and ready to go. And we are going out on a date night and we are going to have a sitter, which we highly recommend calling in a, a service to have a sitter. It really makes the trip a whole lot more relaxing. So we are going to head out. We don't even know where we're going to go yet. So you'll find out later where we ended up going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Date night. I like the glow of your cell phone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case I need to be lit like a ghost. Date night. Well, it's appropriate because we're at Abracadabra <laughs> yes. on the boardwalk. And we have been in here maybe once before, yeah. very briefly. And so, anyway, it, it's nice. It's not super crowded. 
you know, um, and we'll have to take some shots like around the room. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's just kind of a nice little spot. Oh, you got a conjurita. Whatever that is. She's getting up really fancy. No, I'm not getting a fancy Apple drink. TV. I'm getting something that I know I like. No, it's good. <laughs> We went into Epcot and it was yeah. funny because, you know, we hadn't, this is the first time we had park hopped since, like, they reinstated park hopping. And, um, so we hadn't done it. And it's funny because I had, like, looked up some videos and stuff about, yeah. like, this is how you park hop. And what I couldn't find was what do you need to do? Because in my mind, do? I'm thinking, like, you need a reservation or something, right? Because like, you need well, a park yeah, reservation. I'm going here. <laughs> And, like, nowhere did anybody have any info on this. Yeah. So, we just kind of accidentally, not thinking, just, like, walked right in the International Gateway yeah. at Epcot. And, like, we scanned in. And right as I scanned, I went, oh, no, I don't have, like, a park reservation or anything. And it was like, oh. No, you just show no, up. No, you just go. It's going. <laughs> so, that's a really Parks important day. important tip uh, that nobody told me is you just show up. Yeah. Um, so, Yeah. Do but that. Simple. Do that. It, as long as it's available, as long as they have room. So, mm. um, and I kind of think they're putting it back to max capacity, so there's probably going to be room most of the time. Oh yeah. Because it's pretty crowded. In fact, if we get to a more congested area, I'm going to put on my mask. So anyway, we're going to go do a little bit of shopping. We'll probably take the monorail up to the Magic Kingdom area yeah. and hit some stuff up there. But for now, it's a lovely night. Okay, we've decided to go for Spaceship Earth. Yay. Did a little shopping, got some stuff at Mouse Gear, and now it's time for Spaceship Earth, our favorite. And what is the attraction for us be, just doing Spaceship Earth right now without our children? We get to be together. Yeah. We never, ever get to be together. No. So it's... And it's always a fight. If Woody's like, I want to be the mommy. Yes. So we're going to ride this ride together, and that is amazing. So let's do this. Oh, I can't, I'm coming for you, Dame Judy Dench. We're coming. The Grand and Miraculous Spaceship. Oh yeah, that's cool. By the way, in case you didn't know, I am a total classic Epcot person. Yeah. Epcot. She likes Horizon. Because I came here like the yeah. first year that it opened and like every year, most of my life since then. So <laughs> yeah, I'm like a Horizons fan and the yep. old, um, is it World of Motion? Whatever, the General Motors one. He did them once as a kid, but like I did them a lot as a kid. So oh, universe these are of energy. Universe, universe of energy. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So anyway, like us some uh, Bill Nye and uh, this is, Ellen. <laughs> this is really the only classic one left because Figment has been redone. So, and this one actually has been redone too. Um, with a few upgrades and different narration. I remember Walter Cronkite narrating. Um, but anyway, yay, Spaceship Earth. She's beautiful. Let's go ride. The best time to get stuck on a ride is definitely when you're paying a babysitter by the hour, right? <laughs> yes. Rome built the first World Wide Web, and it's leading us into the future. The Gutenberg Press, invented by Steve Gutenberg. 
no, not really invented by Steve Gutenberg, but I always think that. Look, a woman. There's a woman. That's a woman? No, that's an actual woman. I think there are like two women in this, or three women or something. Oh, I can think of five. Go those. musicians! Woo! Don't worry, there's no one behind me. <laughs> like, for two whole cars behind me, so we're not irritating them. Bruce Broughton's score right here has this great piccolo and I think Celeste part. It's awesome. I love it! Piccolo. Good intonation is magnificent. Spacely sprockets? The end, or should I say the beginning of your future. Adventure continues, and um, we have taken the Epcot monorail. It was a bit of a wait, so yeah, it's kind of long. We should have Ubered because the cost for the babysitter probably would have been exceeded cheaper. waiting for the monorail. <laughs> but hey, so, um, so now we are taking the path from from TTC over to um, Polynesian, Poly and we're just gonna see how what the status yeah. is at Trader Sam's. We'd like to get in. But, I mean, I don't know, it could be a long wait. Yeah. We'll just kind of have to see. But we also have to find her a band director, Mickey. I'm looking for band director Mickey T-shirt. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's really, really cute. And, and it's important to her. It really is important to me because it's literally my profession. What she does. And we're already stepping onto the grounds of the Polynesian in the TTC. It's so Super quick. quick. So we'll check in a little later and see how things go. Maybe I'll show you some nice sights from the poly. Dinosaur. So, <laughs> so we're at the Polynesian and it's like this beautiful <laughs> tropical romantic paradise and the the um um electrical water pageant is going by. Yeah, it's going by so the audio track for that has taken over. And it's like <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like it's not Polynesian dun, dun, at all. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's the antithesis of the theming here. Okay, so we are here at Trader Sam's yeah. patio outdoor area wow. at the Polynesian. We did not get into regular Trader Sam's. Their whole night until closing is completely Midnight. Closed. It's yeah. booked up. Yeah. At night. So, so. Um, but, like they didn't even take our name or anything. No, they wouldn't. They're but like, we got a no. spot outside and we'll be able to kind of partly see fireworks. We're completely undercover. So it's all good. And you know what? We're here together and yeah, it's fun. That's what matters. And um, no matter where we go on Disney property, and we love to travel yeah. all around and do different things, we just always seem to find ourselves back here. I don't know what it is. It's uh, it's just our favorite. It's it's hard to beat. Good thing it's one of our home resorts for Disney Vacation yeah. Club. <laughs> Because we always come back here, we just love it. So. We do, we do. Okay, so we got our drink. Yay! Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> 